Hey everybody, this is your right geek, honorary man king, and leader of the awkward cough squad here with another video. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the Walmart comics and in particular the two Walmart comics that I liked best and am most interested in pursuing. Um, so the first is the uh, the Red Rooster comic and uh, let me just tell you why I want to pursue this story uh, and it's mainly because of these opening pages uh, where clearly uh, this main character has uh, has had a difficult time of it and uh, uh, he's broke beaten and broken down so apparently something has happened in his life uh, that has made everything fall apart and I'm I, uh, because of those opening pages, I am really, really interested in pursuing how he got to this point. Um, uh, how he ended up being this, this broken down individual. And, and I would like to see, because uh, what we do see here is he's uh, rescuing this kid. Uh, what I would like to see, where I would like to see this go, and where it's probably going to go, is this broken down hero is going to rediscover um, the ideals that he uh, that he was uh, what he originally became a hero for. So um, that's the kind of story I love, actually, where uh, a hero that uh, maybe has lost his faith in the whole idea of heroism starts to regain it. I think that's going to be a very good story. Um, and, uh, you know, as far as the quality of the art in this, I like this part too, where they, uh, they transition to the black and white when they go to the movie screen. That's actually, that was actually a really cool coloring choice, uh, in my opinion. And, you know, and of course the themes of, uh, how, uh, being a celebrity in a mass media culture, how it, uh, how it can dilute the actual ideals that you are supposed to be fighting for as a hero. Um, I think it, it is cerebral, as number one Marmaduke fan says, but I like cerebral, so I am interested to see where the exploration of this theme goes. Um, I'm definitely going to be following this. Uh, as it uh, as it continues uh, in July, um, because uh, yeah, the themes that it's starting to pick up just with this first installment, I'm very interested. I want to see where this goes. Um, so that was the first one um, that I liked and would like to pursue further. Um, and then of the four, I also liked uh, Bass Reeves here. Um, and this one I think I liked even more than Red Rooster uh, because it features something that you don't really see a lot of, uh, not only in comic books, but just in general in popular culture. And that's the idea of um, a Christian figure who, who represents uh, the judge aspect of God. Um, I think that in our culture, just to make ourselves feel better, we often, uh, we often de-emphasize the idea of God as judge in favor of the God who loves us. Um, but both of those things are actually biblically who God is. So seeing a figure in a book like this, um, that actually represents that that judgment aspect of God um, is very interesting, and I want to see uh, I, I want to see how that develops further. Um, there's also some really great uh, commentary in here about um, what we use violence for, right? Uh, so we don't use violence uh, just for the sake of glory. Uh, we use violence as a tool of justice uh, when necessary and not just because. 
So uh, this page in particular was really good. Um, So when he says, glorifying a man's death is never a good thing, do you hear me? The men who got away were bad men. Guns and obeying the law responsibilities. they not toys made for your pleasure. Do you understand? So uh, there's, de there's definitely a very deep moral core in this that I really enjoy. It's something that you don't see a lot of in uh, media that is currently presented. So I do definitely want to see where this goes. Uh, and like number one Marmaduke fan, I was also uh, quite delighted to discover that this is a real guy that they're basing the story on. Um, although if you don't want the major plot point to be spoiled, you definitely don't want to read this page. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm interested to see how this develops because uh, the spoiler uh, is definitely interesting to me, and I want to see I want to see exactly how we get to that point. Um, because, oh, well, just speaking for myself, I don't really care about spoilers because the spoiler doesn't really tell you anything about how you get to that spoiler. Um, I've always been much more interested in the process than the result. So um, this is definitely another book that I'm going to be reading further. I think these are both. Uh, interesting books for me, and I can't wait for the next issue to come out. Um, I also just want to make a general note that the quality of the production on these uh, is really good. I think that the, uh, the type of paper they're using uh, is really uh, sturdy and solid. Um, it's the sort of thing you would want to give to a kid, and um, you wouldn't necessarily have to worry about the kid uh, destroying it <laughs> accidentally because they do feel very sturdy. Um, so that kind of production quality uh, is a definite plus as well. So um, yeah, these two books, they're good. If you haven't gone to uh, Walmart yet to check these books out, definitely do. Um, I think they're worth reading. Uh, so thank you for listening to this quick review, and I will speak to you again on Monday.